don't do promotional videos for other organizations and companies um but i think DuckDuckGo, you know i love the work that they're doing um they're basically a privacy tailored search engine they're what's come default on brave um a lot of the hip kids who care about privacy use uh, DuckDuckGo, and they are basically a, a simplified Google. Google spends a lot of time building features that are centered around data analytics, specifically using trackers and keeping your data to develop a better, more personalized um, search and internet experience. Um, but that's a trade-off, you know, your own personal data for privacy. You know, DuckDuckGo doesn't really necessarily provide those tailored solutions, and this is kind of a good check for search engine optimization, checking on Google, checking on Bing, checking on Yahoo, and checking on DuckDuckGo to really see how this works. But um, like they are really you know, touting privacy, and that's kind of, you know, if I'm trying to search something uh, sketch per se, I'll, I'll go on DuckDuckGo, I'll add Tor, you know, I'll go on Brave on Tor, on the Tor browser or anything like that, and then search on DuckDuckGo because that's the default for there. But the only reason why I mention this is because they just came out with a waitlist for new features. So spreadprivacy.com, this is the official DuckDuckGo blog, and they basically made a waitlist for an email app that um, gives you a, a domain at duck.com, and that way when you go to different websites and they save your personal address, um, this will basically forward to your mail and they will not keep track of any of the emails. They won't save the emails is what they're claiming. And they'll remove trackers and then forward it to you. Because a lot of um, you know, different uh, services, like it says here, they have you know, tracking strips of first read. And some, might have you, some of you might have used this as you know, uh, productivity tools. I think I used to use like a yes or something to see when people open my emails. You know, these scripts are all over the internet and so this is designed to take that off and forward it and add as a layer of abstraction because again third parties do buy your email they do have that as access and especially if you're using it you know for login and authentication and things like that um that is a security vulnerability so um you know this article just explains that they have an android and a um a ios app i would recommend checking this out and uh, joining the private beta waitlist because I really do want to see uh, you know the the ability to have privacy and to have trackers uh, blocked because again you know we are slowly slowly chipping away over our rights for not even disguised as infringements but disguised as ease and productivity and I think you know simple solutions like these need to be implemented. Uh, to standardize privacy. So I, I applaud the work that DuckDuckGo, that EFF, that you know Tor are doing. Like that's to me, you know, they, they're they're OGs in the game. So I would definitely check out this email protection. This was, uh, this was released in July 20th. It's like two weeks after that right now. And uh, the reason why I wanted to make the video is actually people are getting taken off the wait list that they signed it up on the iOS or Android app, and they're starting to get domains. So you're gonna start seeing people sign up there. I thought I should just add that update um, and let me know how it works um, and uh, hopefully someone makes a video of it actually testing it out and checking whether they can detect scripts on these uh, emails. So I would love to see that um, as, a, as a reply.